deal. Focus, think results. Yeah, you, you, you definitely need to hire quality and competence in this industry because there's a lot of people who frankly aren't quality and frankly are just legit, incredibly incompetent. Um, so when you're assessing whether to go with what kind of SEO company to go with, you want to look at what the kind of results is like. Are they the kind of SEO company that can beat Home Depot, or are they kind of are the kind of SEO company that gets beaten by Home Depot? I think if you look at the naturopathic SEO comment that I made, even though it was funny, yeah. like a naturopathic doctor, also does preventative stuff, and they do integrated stuff. Yeah, and so you know, social media isn't people doing the Harlem Shake, and you know, putting up a video on YouTube. It's about creating a consistent social media presence with lots of content. And that's part of SEO today. I mean, if you're not doing social media then in your SEO, then you're not doing SEO. Yeah, it's is not anymore just about like how many keywords I can jam on a website and how many links I can build. It's really more about building and amplifying your brand online. So if you're not amplifying your brand across every channel, if you're not amplifying your brand across... You know, not just Google, because everyone's like, what, what's the first thing I hear whenever a client signs up with us is, I want to be number one on Google, and that's a legitimate goal, and that's awesome, but it's to be, to get the recognition on Bing, on Yahoo, on, you know, get get an optimized Yelp listing, to also have optimized listings on maybe TripAdvisor. You know, it's it's about building a presence online through Facebook, through Google, through Pinterest, through Twitter, through every aspect, so that when people search, no matter how they search, whether they search on a PC, a Mac, um, a phone, a tablet, a watch, they're going to find your business. Yeah, so you got to be well-rounded. I mean, if you have a good presence online and somebody calls you on the phone and nobody answers the phone or your phone doesn't work and... <laughs> nobody returns the call and nobody returns the email. Yeah. And people think twice. I mean, it's got to be a holistic approach. and That's important in SEO, holistic approach. Yeah, no, it's very important. If you can't, if you can't step back and look at the big picture and say, hey, the big picture is this is my, this is my overall goal, this is my business objective, and here's how I'm going to get to it. And it's not just by being number one on Google. And it's not just by doing this. It's like, I'm going to use this method, this method, this method, this method. And I'm also going to take measures within my own company to, you know, improve customer relations, to improve lead flow, to imp improve conversion on my end by, you know, picking up the phone or maybe adding sales staff or retraining my sales staff. I mean, you've got to take a very broad view in terms of how you get to the goal you want to get to. Yeah, one of, one of the things that a lot of business owners want to do is they want to increase their sales and they want to make more money on less people and they want to attract the best people. And it, it goes back to it goes back to Michael Jackson's song Man in the Mirror. You know, it's like what are you portraying for the public? I mean are you working on your website or are you trying to get by with a website that you built back in 1990 and how are you going to attract the best people if you're not even working on your own business? So you've got to have a good website that's engaging yeah. and incorporates like new trends like video or social media or I mean if you have a website that doesn't have social media, no videos, you know, it, it looks old and dated. You're, it looks shady. I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks like you're not legitimate basically. Yeah, it looks like a haunted house. I mean, <laughs> especially if you have money. I mean, if you want to spend a lot of money and you, you're trying to attract a high level client, you know, some people go, well, how do I get a big corporate client that would pay us like a lot of money? Well, invest the money in your business to present that image so that that corporate client knows that you can take care of them, that it's not just some guy driving around on a scooter that's running a business out of his garage and, you know, can't even return calls and, you know, it's like, it, it even comes down to the simplest little things. You know, it's like, are you optimizing, like, your social channels? Does it look like you're working your business? Or does it look like you're just trying to make money here and there? And, uh, I mean, I even see people's signatures, like, from their email. You know, you see a company and oh, yeah. you send them an email and there's no signature, there's no picture, there's no social channels. 
They're kind of like, well, is this a real company? Yeah. It's like, uh, what are you portraying for to attract the best people? I mean, to attract the best people, you got to become the best. It's yeah. not just wanting the best people, but it's becoming the best company so that your company grows and attracts the best people. Yeah, it never ceases to amaze me. And it happens consistently, even with major companies I've dealt with, is getting a reply from somebody in the you know executive position. And it's not from that that company domain. It's from a Gmail account or a Hotmail account. Or, or have so a, often an <laughs> AOL account. I'm just like, dear Lord, what is going on here? AOL <laughs> is like... <laughs> That stands for AWOL, right? Like lost somewhere in oblivion? <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or the night you decided to bail out of boot camp I mean, and run yeah. into the darkness. You're trying to get a corporate client, right? And right. let's say your business is called, I don't know, dynamic, whatever you want to call it, dynamic consultants. Yeah. And all of a sudden they get an email from like an American online account. <laughs> and it has no signature, no picture. Yeah. And like you're like, how come I don't have a business? Like, because you scared them away with your email address. Yeah. Uh, like, why not use your domain? I mean, that's what most professional companies do. Like, you know, contact at dynamicconsulting.com. Yeah, exactly. Instead of Ronnie G at AOL.com. Or yeah. Yeah, and, and image is like a big thing online. It's like if you. If you're not projecting the professional image of your company, then what are you doing? And that, that extends down to, to like your your employees too. It's like, you know, what what are you posting on Facebook? What are you? What is your company saying on Twitter? Is it, does it reflect what you what you want your company to be, or is it just you know a bunch of random gobbledygook put up by the social media intern that you hired just because you? graduated Harvard I mean you see it all the time you see it sometimes too like these business owners in some of these states where they want to get business and then they send you an email and it's from like big pony horse <laughs> yes. at American online American online dot com and then they're wondering why they can't <laughs> attract higher level clients well I mean yeah and also that just is offensive to anyone that wants a little pony horse oh right. uh, <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. We've probably rambled enough, and we're we've no doubt will edit this into something cohesive. But that was sort of our first episode, and you can expect many more every Friday. And we hope you enjoy, and we hope you tune in again. And if we scared you, I'm sorry, but come back. There will be pie. We could we could say this is episode ten thousand and one. <laughs> Of our podcast. <laughs> yeah. And the other 10,000 are in archive right now, so yeah, you they, can't find them. Yeah, Apple lost them. They, they had to make space on their website for, like, the the, the, the Apple Watch launch, so they sent us an email saying they had to delete all our 10,000 podcasts, and we're like, damn. Or we had them on GoDaddy, and somehow <laughs> they deleted the folder. Yeah, they... They, and, they, uh, their support section accidentally deleted them. But they're outsourcing now <laughs> to another country, uh, like a third party, so um, they can't find them. Exactly. So join us on 10,002 Two, yeah. for the next podcast, and we'll be bringing some West Coast SEO at you. Yeah. D. De-